Katie here with Fixie Makeup and today I'm going to show you how to create a no makeup look and really quite a few easy steps. So let's get started. You need a couple of materials only and I'll walk you through that whole process and we will get you out the door and looking fresh faced with just having a little bit on but making all the difference. Before anything else, you need to prep before creating the no makeup look. So to prep, you need exfoliator, you need moisturizer, and you need eye drops. Eye drops keeps your eyes looking bright and fresh with, without much on. The exfoliator helps you to look dewy as well as the moisturizer. So do that before anything else. Now for creating the makeup look itself, the day of, you will need just some concealer, a little bit of powder, some blush, or blush sticks, which are even better, have a smoother finish, mascara, brow gel, and a lip gloss or chapstick. That's it. You can take this in a small bag on the go, you can do it in the car, right before you head into the gym, whatever it is, it's just supposed to give you that effortless, no makeup look. Okay, so now that you've exfoliated and prepped your skin, now it's time to apply the no makeup makeup. So we will start with some concealer and some powder. You don't want foundation today because the foundation can give a cakey look and then you just need to add on. So although it gives a smooth finish and can be really beautiful, you want your natural characteristics to show through. So any freckles or anything like that just makes you look that much more effortlessly beautiful. Discoloration a little bit is okay too. So the concealer, just spot treat as you go for any of the blemishes and also your under eyes or any dark circles that you have. When you put the concealer on, just dab and then pat lightly. So really just be quite conservative when you use this for this time around. Then we have powder. I know you think powder and you just don't usually use it. I don't anyway. But with this powder, it just helps it give a smooth finish without, like I said, covering up entirely like foundation would. So I actually like this powder because it has a brush and it's small and simple, compact. You can take it with you and just gently rub over your face. Next comes the blush. So with the blush, instead of using a powder, we don't want the blush brush to leave hairs on your face. So we already have the powder from before. So we're gonna use, if you can, either a stain or some sort of cream. I really like this cream and I actually got this from a natural store here in Denver, but you can also use Chanel. And an orange, believe it or not, creates more of a summer dewy look. So you can take a little bit of this, again conservative, and circle onto your cheeks and then rub it in ever so slightly. You can put a little bit on your eyelid or on your lips too to sort of blend together. Okay, so you're already over halfway through. Next, we are going to move upward onto the eyes and brows, very important. But we really don't wanna create a huge cat eye or really heavy on the makeup today for the eyes. Even though they're fun to dress up, today it's all about being subtle and natural. So if you're a blonde like me or if you have light lashes, stick to a brown mascara. It feels awkward for me using brown mascara, but it just gives that little added pop. Also, you don't need them to be extra long or extra thick, just a nice subtle brushing to create a soft look. I also only do the top lashes, so that way I don't get little flakes underneath and darkening circles under my eyes. I also use this brow gel, and it's blonde from Bobbi Brown. I really like this one for blondes myself. And so I just brush this on, but you can find many different tints in different companies and different brands. So search around and use a gel instead of a pencil. And last but not least are your lips. So we know that we like those luscious lips no matter what, but instead of creating a bold pop or color, you want to use something subtle again. So I recommend either just an EOS chapstick that you have in your bag or this lip plumper. This is Chanel, but you can get a lip plumper anywhere, but I actually just keep it a clear lip plumper. So on the way to the gym, I throw this in, I put it on, and I just look natural, yet it also gives a dewy, fresh feel. So you are all set. You have just created the no makeup makeup look. So go off and enjoy and see what you can come up with on your own. Thanks for joining us today at Fixie. Take care.